We are off in the woods again today to do Survival Scout Part 2, and we're going to make some fires, right, Diddy? We are down by the pond. That way we've got a nice, safe place to practice what? What are we doing today? Fire. All right, so the first thing Scout does to make a fire is, what is she doing here? She's sweeping so that nothing else catches on fire. So we have to sweep an area, and look, what is she putting here? Rocks. So we don't have rocks around here, so we'll just do a good job sweeping. No, 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 no. Dinner. Sometimes instead of rocks, can't we use these oyster shells? Maybe. I like rocks. They're hard enough. That would be a lot of oyster shells. All right. Well, let's get started on the sweeping. What do you have? Hungry All right, let's start sweeping. All right, so we already have a little pile here because we're going to do a bonfire eventually. So let's make our spot farther away from the bonfire just so we don't accidentally set this on fire, okay? But Scouts is totally clear like this, right? It is good to get as many pieces of pine straw away so you don't start a fire where you don't want it. This looks like a big enough space. So it's got to be a little bigger, what? but that looks pretty good. Just what? a little bigger. Why does it have to be a little bigger? So that way you just don't get a fire started where you don't want it. Yeah, but I already got it a little bigger. This part gets a little confusing sometimes because there's kind of two sets of three. What are the three things you need to make fire? Um, spark, oxygen, and fuel. Perfect, right. And now in the book, there's three types of things that burn. What are the three types of things you have to collect? Pond straw. Which is what? It's t -t -t tinder. Tinder. And then what are the little sticks? Kindling. And then what are the big sticks? Fuel. Right. So you need a spark, fuel, and oxygen to get a fire going. But the fuel category is broken down into tinder, kindling, and what they call fuel, or big logs, right? So, let's start on tinder. What is tinder? Little stuff, yes. Let's go find it. What are we it. doing? I don't want this roly-poly to get hurt. All right, so we're rescuing the roly-poly first. Oops. I think he's okay on the ground. All right, so we've got a little bit of pine straw. Next to the pond here, Dede, is this, bamboo. this, yeah, this kind of bamboo stuff. And see how some of it's dry? So let's try to pick just the dry part. Like this? Yeah, just find like the dry leaves. See? What about the bamboo stick? No, the green part doesn't help. Just the dry part. What did we just hear? A frog. Think he'll make another one? Make another noise. So here's our next pile of tinder. And what do we have? So this is all this cane stuff that grows down here. Lots of different things. I'm trying to circle this bamboo all around it. Okay. Now that we've collected two different types of tinder, we're going to try shaving a stick. Now, I don't remember if Scout had a knife. I think she did, or she got one later in the book. But you can't do this really without a knife. So we're going to take Davis's machete, and we're going to cut away from our hand. How? Flip the stick over for me. Now, this stick is like almost rotten, but it's not wet. So it's this real kind of dry, spongy. Now, it rained recently, so everything's a little wet. You see how it's kind of almost fluffy? We're going to take the blade and scrape down that and make a whole bunch of little feathers, little fine pieces, okay? How do I do it? I'll show you. This is almost like whittling. Yes, it's kind of like whittling. You're just kind of very getting a fine, fine fuzz, right? Now, sometimes people put another piece of bark down here to catch the fuzz, but we're all just putting it in a pile. So this takes a while to kind of make these little feathers, okay? So you just have to be patient. 
What if they're big? Uh, you just want them as small as you can get them. You can see Davis is using the back of the knife because you can make real fine shavings that way too if it's kind of getting stuck in. And look, we're getting a pretty big pile. And we have goats in the background. Here are the flea, three flavors of tinder. We've got some wood shavings, we've got some pine straw, we've got some bamboo leaves and dry shoots. Now, what's a little bit bigger than tinder? What do we need next? Um, fuel. No, no. Kindling. Kindling. And what are kin what's kindling? Sticks. All right, so we need to find a bunch of little sticks. Now we have the bonfire here that we've been cutting trees down, so it makes it easy to find sticks, but let's practice finding little sticks on the ground first, which is not that hard either. See them? So okay. go grab sticks. So we are climbing through the entire wood pile to find perfect sticks for our kindling. How's it going up there? Oh, we got a goat on the other side helping. Good goat. All right, what do we got? What is this part? The little part? Oh, tinder. And then? Kindling. Now what do we need? The big ones. Logs. Right, which is fuel. fuel. All right, let's go find them. So sometimes we find sticks, but they're just too long. And so what you do is you find two trees like this and wedge it in and then walk, walk around, walk around, walk around. Perfect. See how you broke it? Yeah. All right. Now wedge it in again and break it in another piece. All right, so stick it in there and break it. Why? It's got to be a little smaller. Yep. And then push. Push. Why? I want to do the temple, and this is going to be the part that helps it stand up. Look at that. See? See how it breaks it? Perfect. Some of them are tricky. I know. So if that's not going to break, just find another one. No, I'm going to do it. You're going to do it? All right, put it a little lower in the Y. There you go. Give yourself lots of leverage. Oh, okay, I guess this is a good thing. Just a reminder, as we're collecting fuel, make sure it's nice and dry. Green stuff's not going to help much. Davis, being very clever, in addition to finding deadfall, has found some old logs that we used a previous fire. So just being aware of your surroundings, using some thinking, I really thought it was pretty clever. You know, even though it's a little bit cheating, if you're stuck in the woods and find a resource, use it. So now we have a good bundle of fuel. And there's a lot of different takes on this, but something bigger than your thumb, maybe around the size of your wrist, is fuel. So tinder. Kindling, fuel. So Davis is saying he was taught at camp some pinky size, some thumb size, some arm size, which is good because you, in the scout book, she does the TP style. I always kind of like the log cabin style, but we're going to do TP style because that's what's in the book. And also that's what Davis learned in camp recently. Before we start the teepee, we have to show you something that's not in the book, which is making a tinder bundle or bird's nest. Now you can just stick all your tinder in the base of the fire, but sometimes it's easier to have the bird's nest kind of out away from the fire where you can get to it. So grab some pine straw and not all of it, but a good chunk of it and kind of ball it up, ball, 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 good. And then kind of make a little hollow spot in the middle, like a bird's nest. With your thumbs. Yep, keep doing that. Perfect. This makes like a cup for you to catch your sparks into. Now we could use a little bit of each type of tinder in there. You want to kind of put some of that in there. 
So that's kind of big. Let's find the smaller stuff. And some of your leaves. Some of your bamboo. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, keep kind of making it into a ball and then making that hole in the middle so you can catch those sparks. I'm just trying to crumble these up so they can fit. Perfect. Could you get a little bit of some smaller bamboo? Now, let's put all of our rest Can of our I tinder. Can just record the goats? A little. All right, let's take the rest of our tinder and kind of pile it up right in the middle. Like this? Uh-huh. Good. Now, what in that layer is next? The littler sticks. The kindling. Now, remember, we're trying to do the teepee thing, remember? Yeah, but we're gonna do, we're gonna put some of the sticks in there, or all of them, right? Most of them. Getting the sticks to stand up in a pyramid is tricky, so finding ones with little, like, Y crooks helps, because you can kind of stack them in there. And then, once they start standing, you could just lean them on one another. But while you're doing this, you gotta leave one side kind of open so you can get the spark in there, okay? We don't need your help. So how are we doing? Good. I think it's starting to look like a pyramid, TP. How is it like you can literally lean any stick anywhere? Once they start pushing against each other, they kind of keep each other stable. We have a good looking TP going on. So now we've got tinder, kindling, and fuel. So let's take the fuel sticks and kind of put them around it too, okay? How, but they're too big for the little sticks. We gotta kind of balance them on the uh, other pieces of fuel. Why is it easy? No, wait, wait, don't put them on one side, go on the other side now. Why? So it'll balance. While Davis is adding fuel, I'm just going to point out that we saved just kind of a little bundle of the kindling sticks. Very small ones. That I got. Kind of, yep, just kind of pulled it to the side. Let's save that one for later. Good idea. We're starting to look pretty good. So we have our tinder bundle of the bird's nest. Little extra sticks. Tinder. Kindling. Fuel on the outside. Now we just need a spark. You ready for it? I'm gonna keep that outside. Keep the tinder bundle outside of it. There you go. Now, let's start with the flint and steel. What do you think? To get a spark, Scout shows several different ways. We got a fire bow or bow drill, magnifying glass. Now the bow drill is very hard for a little guy and the magnifying glass requires a nice sunny day. It's not quite sunny enough. Actually, it might be getting better, but we're kind of dark in the woods. So I don't think the magnifying glass is going to work. We actually, after our last video, practiced the magnifying glass on a nice sunny day. So he's been successful with this anyway. The other way is with flint and steel, which is tricky, but I think that's what we're going to do. And if that doesn't work, we're going to try out the matches. And of course, if all else fails, we can just cheat with the lighter. Let's do this. So, I know it's hard, but you want to hold that thing pretty close to the bird's nest. So those little sparks go right into it. Or they're not staying in and biting. It's hard because you're still little, so you can't strike super hard yet. That was good, but you got to keep trying to get those sparks in there. After several attempts with the flint and steel, we got a little bit of smoke, but never really caught. So now he gets to try matches. So he's never used matches before. So you just put one match out at a time. I'm gonna take two, I'm gonna take three out in case one doesn't work. All right. Now you push against the box, yep. It broke, so you gotta kind of support it with your finger. Here, put that one down. 
There you go. And you got to go quick. Why? That's what strikes it. See, they're tricky. So matches are not a sure thing. They're harder than they look. So if you stick it in before it really gets a chance to light, it goes out. So that one's dead. See how it's black? You can't use it again. You have to use a white one. So once the match strikes, you have to give it a second to kind of get the stick on fire, okay? I think because it's humid and these are some old crummy matches, he's having a lot of trouble. So I might help him strike it and that way he could try lighting it with the match, okay? All right, good. Now it's burning. Now carefully stick it in there before it roasts your thumb. Get it all the way in. Yep. There you go. Now kind of put the bundle around it and then blow. All right, let it burn for a second. You can shield it from the wind like that. Once it gets going, then you stick it in there and then cup it around it. There you go. Blow a little bit. So close. All right, try it in there. Good. No, kind of there. I think that one actually stuck. All right, blow, blow, blow. Get down there, blow. Look at that. All right, now grab it by the end that's not on fire and stick it in there carefully. Now blow, blow, blow. Why does it look so happy? Why does it look so happy? Because you're doing it. How did that one where I just dropped it work? All right, it's starting to catch. Now put your little sticks in. Your little sticks. Yep. Just toss them in. Yep. Good. Now you can put a little more kindling. Sorry, tinder. More tinder. Keep it going. Good. Good, good. Yep, good. Keep blowing. Daddy, is it going? Yeah. It's looking good. Huh? So it's really catching, and our little teepee kind of fell over, but that's okay. So we could keep feeding it. Yep, try to keep feeding it a little pine straw. Good. How come it's falling? Well, once the sticks start burning, the ones that are kind of balancing and support it fall over. But look, it's a proper campfire, and Davis is having his camp snack. Now that we have fire. Then why does it say sauce? S-O-S. We're going to learn about signaling sauce. in our next video, in our next project, oh. okay? Mm -hmm. Signaling. Signaling. Put that on? Mm-hmm. What's this? That's just telling you more about signaling. What's it say?